I had literally, we just went through a day that was dog shit on a stick. You know, I mean, you wake up and you think, fuck, it's gonna be a great day. Look, the sun is a perfect fall day. No, it's not. We have a tour bus. The only way this works is with the tour bus. Um, if I had to fly from place to place to place, my tour would last three days. <laughs> Have you been to an airport recently? What a joyous experience. <laughs> We've now basically taken a, a, a travel and just made it into, hey, come on, fly. And, and you know what flying is? It's punishment. Get in a little fucking piece of shit to play, and then people are going, you, you fucking stand behind people and you're going, have you ever been on a plane before? <laughs> they're walking down the aisle. Oh, they, they get in, they, their seat is like, you know, the 32nd row, and as soon as they get in the plane, they start looking. What do you think? The, the 32 starts at the front, asshole? <laughs> so... So I'm in a tour bus, and that's the only way I could do this. And we've got uh, is it Jeff, and let's hear from Jeff Stills. <laughs> then Roar, our tour manager, and uh, James Salkindar, who handles all the tech end of things, and uh, Jason Bell, who's out in the front doing the... So there's a bunch of us. And uh, last week, um, we, we, the, the bus... The bus broke down. That's right. It just broke down. In the 15, 16, 17 years I've been going around the bus, it never broke down once. Once. So they gave us a new bus. Well, they said it was a new bus. <laughs> Fucking bullshit on a stick. They, they literally gave us a new bus. We got on it. Okay? Now I'm coming up from... Uh, Reading, Pennsylvania, okay? Thank you, and I'm so glad that you could join us tonight. She was there last night, and was so excited, she said, fuck, I gotta go, I gotta go to Rochester. <laughs> so today, we got rolling, and then, on the Pennsylvania Turnpike, which is just a beautiful ride, isn't it? <laughs> Seriously. There, but accidents occur on that fucking turnpike regularly. And they're not really accidents. What they are is people driving who go, Fuck it! <laughs> I'm done with this shit! How long is fucking Pennsylvania? And why is it that long? Driving along, and it's great, and we're, you know, uh, and, and, and what, make it, what, what helps is we've got, you know, you can, you can watch, it, it, we have a TV, and we, you can see Sports Center, and fucking, I'm getting information so I can fucking, you know, make my picks for the weekend, which are never, never, ever right. But I get all the information, and then I compute it in another way that has nothing to do with reality. But it's great, it passes the time, and you look out, and it's fucking gorgeous out. And I commented on the fact that, fuck, for this time of the fall, it, it, the leaves still had not changed. And I thought, wow, this is really wild. And I can't wait, this will be great, I'll be able to see them change, because normally I'm somewhere where I can't, where usually, usually by the time I get back here, there are no fucking leaves. There are no leaves! And it was really rolling along. And then all of a sudden, the bus stopped. On the Pennsylvania bucket, just stop. Stop. Not like, uh, we can pull the bus over. Like, I'm dead. It literally, he was trying to, he, 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 was a, he felt that there was a problem in the driver. And he took it a little off the road, and now we're sitting in a lane. So now we got people passing us, 
who you know are saying, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Yeah, but on an incline, which is always a joy, when you got a big bus and we got a fucking merch trailer in the back, which is, and so you got this jumbo fuck thing, and then we, well, now we've got to wait for somebody to go, who the fuck? We can't even get an Uber. No! No, you can't even get an Uber to get the fuck out of there to fucking get into a car to fucking get here, okay? And so, we, 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 we fucking, now we gotta wait, we gotta wait for a fucking tow truck. And it's like just a tow truck. It's not a jumbo fuck tow truck. It's a little fucking, just, you know, like it would get your, your Hyundai. I'm going, this, we are gonna die. We're going to die. And what will the poor people in Rochester do if I die here? <laughs> and lifted us up, and, 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 and we're sitting on the bus, and I'm thinking, maybe this is a mistake. <laughs> but we got up, and then it kind of heated for a little bit, and then we were on our way to a, a big rest area. And let me tell you, I spent, we spent four hours in that rest area. Oh, yeah, what a joy that is. <laughs> There's nothing more fun than a rest area. You know, you can, you can wander about and, and, and pee and then come back. And <laughs> oh, if you have to pee again so you'll have something to do. Because now the bus is dead, so now we don't even get TV. You know, we don't even get TV! And we break down. Now we're five hours away from Rochester. And we have to wait and wait and wait. And eventually, uh, uh, Ben and James go out and they get uh, rent cars. And now we're in a car coming up here. And, uh, and that's it's a beautiful ride. Uh, if, 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 if you're on vacation! <laughs> so we made it here. And I am very happy to be here. I've never said this aloud, and I may never say it again, but it's, it's, it's great to be back in Utica. <laughs> if you're hiding out, you picked a good spot. <laughs> I was reading the paper, and it said that the... They're trying to figure out how to up tourism here. <laughs> and uh, I, 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 I'll be thinking about it. <laughs> if I could help, I would. I, uh, I, I, I can't believe I'm going to tell you this, but it's true. It, Hamilton College is near here, right? Yeah. And uh, when I was a kid, I, uh, I thought that I really wanted to go to Hamilton. And um, uh, I was, it was when Hamilton was, uh, it's, it's a men's, it's just, is it still, it's not still a, just a men's, no. No, it's got to be co-ed or those. If you live out in the, where Hamilton is, <laughs> And because I went up there, I, I lived in Maryland, uh, and I thought about going there, and I, my father and I got in a car and drove up there from Maryland, and I went, f f fuck, this is, this is way, way too far away from fucking anything. And, there are no women around. I am going to be in deep shit out here. <laughs> but but uh, so it's really, I've never, I've never, I just, and I, so I didn't, I didn't go here because it seemed so fucking far away. It just, it seemed like a dream. It's always interesting to come out uh, to Long Island, uh, to sit there in traffic <laughs> on a Sunday. Uh, and uh, I mean, you, you're you're kind of used to it. Uh, what was interesting today that, that struck me because it always things when I'm 
when I'm coming out here to perform, there are things that, there are questions I have. As a matter of fact, sometime I'm gonna have to come out here and not really do an act, just pay people to come on stage so I can ask them questions <laughs> about b b what the fuck I'm seeing out there. <laughs> this, from what I gather, uh, and, and having listened in, to, to part of Jeff's act, uh, this, is, this has always been a place where people come to live because they, you know, it, it, you, you don't have to go anywhere. Do you? No, this is fucking Xanadu. I mean, get a grip. Uh, people fucking come out here on, a, on those Hampton jitneys, go fuck yourself, and, okay? And they do, they come from Park Avenue. And I always thought early on when I was really fucking broke, why the fuck are they going out there? They're coming out here to stay, to basically sit around with the same fucks that they're sitting around with on Park Avenue. Well, what is that makes no fucking sense? I thought, why not just on the weekend, you know, throw sand all over Park Avenue, come out, sit in beach chairs, fucking drink my ties and go home. No, it's, uh, but I'm sitting out there today and there's all this traffic that went somewhere and left here. And I want to know where the fuck they went because that's the place I want to see. <laughs> Sitting in that traffic is just too fucking much. Son of a bitch. Because then I get out here and I go, what am I missing? Why are people sitting hours in traffic to come fucking here? Is there some underground place where some shit's happening I should know about? Because it is really extraordinary. Then I thought, I thought, ooh, today I had that flash. I get it every so often when I'm stuck in traffic and I'm trying to get over hoping it's an accident so I don't get upset. You know that. Don't even fucking back off that joke. <laughs> Son of a bitch, you drive. Please. Oh, I've never thought that. Come on, let's grow the fuck up tonight. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you know, and, but, but, but then I think, who? maybe they're giving away free shit up the road. I can't wait to get there. I thought, fuck, I'm going to get to West Hampton and there's just going to be people throwing t-shirts and all sorts of stuff. But no, fucking nothing. It's, uh, but it's nice to be back. I've performed here three or four times because the punishment is extraordinary. <laughs> I really, to achieve this kind of pain, it, it, it you, I just can't find it on a daily basis. <laughs> you know, the, uh, uh, and, I'm, and, I'm, and, I'm, and what's funny is the, the older I get, it, it, it doesn't help. This whole concept of, oh, I know more now. Bullshit. No, you don't. Maybe you do, and if you do, write a fucking book and send it to me. <laughs> <laughs>